Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I thought I could bring you a bit of an update on the Barkham line. As you can see, I've changed out the crossing gates and I'll go over what pack they're from uh, a bit later. Uh, as you've probably noticed, added a bit more trees and houses to the mills. Um, again, I've been using the Google overlay, which I'll bring up. Just wait a second, there we go. Uh, change the opacity and height. There we go. So, as you can see, if I pause, pause it, I've basically tried to put all the fields and whatnot in places in which they are, like the houses there, there, and there, and there, the roads. Um, go to the mills. Yeah, you can see that I've I've tried to liven it up a bit more. There's more like buildings and stuff to go over here and whatnot. So press Control G, get rid of that. So yeah, I've started adding some ground texture and all, all that. I don't, I don't know what you call it, like fields and stuff, more houses and all that up here. Uh, done a bit more to this sort of area. Put in a coal stage because I built all this, realised. There's nowhere to actually fill up with coal or anything, so I thought, well, why not turn this into both a loading area to bring visiting locos and whatnot into like a coaling and watering stage. Um, I think the next thing I'll probably figure out is how to, well not how to, where to put the uh, water tower. Just for water, I might add it here somewhere. might do that. But anyway, um... Yes, I'll, I'll talk about these, talk about these. Now, I've been a bit busy, as well as making other videos and work and all that. Um, I downloaded and bought the Keefley and Worth Valley Railway and the uh, Whitby and Pickering, which is also called the, I think, the Poppy Line, I think. Um, yeah. I'll try and think. Which one's Langolan? Langolan. That's Wales, um, Gromont. Yeah, I think that is the Whitby and Bickering one. Um, yeah, so these tr crossing gates, you might recognise them from that line. Um, I tried and tried to find a set of gates that would fit this area here, um, but I just couldn't find any. Back that up a bit, I think. Yeah, I do. So I've got stairs around the other side. I do actually Let's, uh, yeah. right but the other bit of the update is I want to show you is up at Isfield because I've been working on that as well we'll just go up the line towards Isfield uh, have I changed? no some of the bridges you probably notice I've, I've added um, signals as well um, some of these bridges are still the same I've got adding a road along here somewhere I think it's over here uh, for the anchor, I've still got to do that yet, but I've just thought I'd go from a bit of a change from Barkham Mills. I thought I'd go over here for a bit. So, in my spare spare time, I've been working on this. Now, if you remember from the last update, I don't think this station was built. Um, if it was, it didn't have the proper buildings and whatnot. So, um. I went on the search to find them and I did and these are the actual buildings from a pack or from a route that you can get from UK train sim uh, which is just the lavender line from up there to up to the halt up there it's a very dated what's that I say dated it is it is sort of an old um, uh, route because I think recently after that after the train sim route was made they added a station up there now what's well, say a station like a a platform for people to get on and off which i'm gonna incorporate but these are the actual buildings for the station you can see here including the uh the very i say, I say very famous the very iconic um canopy platform canopy and uh the signal box with the station name on it which I was quite pleased about because if you remember I just had the same signal box 
is what I had down at um, Barkham, Barkham Mills. So I've just added that in there, and it looks looks very it's very well done. I have to admit, the guys, uh, the guy who made the route um, that these assets came from, he's done a top job on it. He really has. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll probably start setting these up. Won't do it now, but I thought I'd just show you a quick update. Um, on where I was with the station. The pub does sit around here, so I'm going to do that. Click play. Yeah, so. Slam that one. There we go. Pause that. See, the pub sits about here. Right there, there we go. Um, the only bit I have to I submit I'm having trouble with is the sort of incline here to the station, I, the station building. I don't know how to tackle this. Um, I probably will go onto the actual route itself and see how that chap uh, who, who, met, who did the line did it, see what he's done. Um, but yeah, you get a whole range of assets, custom built assets, I might say. This this clock works as well. Uh, bus station, uh, station, uh, blah, blah, blah. station buildings, for the shop, the main station building, the toilets, ticket booth, other building, can uh, not canteen, restaurant, obviously pub as well, right next door to it. Signal box. Um, again. I haven't really sorted out the crossing gates. I might just leave them as is because they're um, they are the Bath to Temple Coombe ones, so I'll leave them. Um, also, what else I got from the Lavender Line uh, route is um, the gradient on on uh, the other the route itself. It, he's got a, I think it's one in two hundred. 33 or 223 incline up here because if you remember i did have just did have a bump sort of somewhere around here but i've just put that in and just rose it up and then got a flat here and then here's the concrete platform where it's going to be my halt for dingley dell this is new this is um uh, the actual bridge from Lavender Line route pack. Uh, this is Dingley Dale Bridge. I've added that in now. Um, so yeah, basically a bit like the real uh, railway. Um, you get people, passengers coming on there, come up the line, they stop at the halt, and then there's a footpath, I think, all the way back down to the station, or or, or carries on all the way up to Uckfield. Um, so yeah, I thought that's, I thought I'd add this bridge as well, because again, a bit like everything else in this pack, it is really well detailed to be honest um it's all free as well if you go on uk train sim this is all free um you just have to wait a while for it to download but in my opinion it's worth the wait for the detail and the assets you get for building your own southern railway well your own southern railway really um i have to admit i'm a bit unsure about the type of track that i've used on the bridge that might change or I might just leave it as is and um, because I do know is it this bridge no it's, it's the other bridge back at the uh, back at anchor back at the anchor pub and uh, this bridge is like this still in real life obviously minus the track but the railway just stops there um not much else to say really I'll, I'll show you Arkfield but I haven't really started on anything up this end as you can see, it's still very, very plain. Um, yeah, the station's still as is. I say the station, it's not. Yeah, it's not really. It might. I might change it over. I might shift it up a bit. I might shift it over. Put the river in. But um, yeah. Just go back down here. There. Uh, I've also changed uh, to get to get the incline up here. I've I had to remove this 
section of point point work. Um, yeah, is is the yard for the existing lavender line. This is as you can see they're taken recently, so this is as as you know post COVID. Yeah, still got to add some houses and whatnot. That'll, that'll probably be from the pack as well. But I have to admit, I don't think I've done too bad of a job. If I'm honest. Oh yes. Uh, was it this bit or was it the next bit? I think it was this bit. Yeah, I redid the curve on the entry to Isford Station. So instead of a sharp sort of kink, as it was here, it was a bit too wide. So I've come down a bit shorter I had to relay this whole bit of track as you can see there is um, quite a gap underneath this I'll have to brush that should I do that now Hang on. I'll brush that off there we go nice there we are do that the whole way but yeah it's slowly getting there slowly but surely Oh no, oh, I didn't want to do it, there we go. Handy having a back button, there we go, right. Do a quick save. And go back down the bargain. Uh, oh, yes, I'll probably show you where. On the whole time, there we go. I'm trying to think, because this is the this is the straight, yeah. Because these are the fields near me, near Barkham. So I've got a tree there, tree there. That's a grass field, okay. That's a wheat field. So cow muck. See, the thing is, I, from walking this line, I know for a fact that that embankment is rather s steep i don't think it's that flat but either way right uh go over the river bridge bevan stream still got to add that still got to sort a lot of things out I'm trying to find that road where is it i think a long time ago this was another yeah, another a sort of siding off here to go to the mills, another set of mills that were here. I think you can almost see it there, I think. I think, but I'll have to do a bit more research, I think. I, keep saying, I do apologise if I keep saying ermine. Um, I think I'm not, not great when I'm on my own doing a commentary. I hope to get better at it, so uh, please bear with. Here we are. This is what I mean about the road, uh, the road to the anchor. So I've got to add that in, and there's the pub there. The river going up to there so i'll have to do that um, i might do that once the video's up obviously the crossing house there as well um so yeah that's that's it for the update at the moment um if you like the video please hit the subscribe button please hit this oh, i can't speak today if forgive me i've only just woken up so i'm still uh still asleep on the pillow at the moment but if you like the video hit the like button and subscribe and uh, i shall see you in another video okay thank you bye